The Tango Tab by Simbans, one of the most affordable Android tablets that you will ever come across. Android 10 straight out of the box. Lots of ports, many connectivity options, a detachable keyboard with shortcuts and a surprisingly sturdy build. All of that for just 180 bucks. So what can it actually do for you and is it worth the price tag? Let's find out in this episode of In-Depth with Chris, presented by Tech Magnet. And as always, to save you time, I will also compile the key findings of the best reviews out there in this video as well. Well, so when you have seen this video, you will have seen it all. So let's get right to it. A company called Simbans reached out to us and said, we make the world's most affordable two-in-one Android laptop. Do you want to check it out? So of course we said yes. And this is it. This is one of the most popular tablets on Amazon. Ridiculously low price point. This is the latest version with 64 gigabytes of internal storage capacity and four gigabytes of RAM. And in times like these with homeschooling, distance learning, Zoom classes, and possibly even combined with money struggles, this thing can do the trick for cheap. Let's start with the unboxing. It will come in this box right here. Neat design, made in China. Model name and all of that. Let's open up this and also this one. First of all, this. You can read the back side on your own, but I like that. I will put this aside for now. This will come with a few installed apps. Quick setup guide. This is the tablet and keyboard edition and these are the contents of the box. The keyboard, there is a divider and here we have the tablet sticking to this nice and secure, also wrapped in plastic. Then here we have the manual, the quick start guide. This is the back side right here. Page three, four, five and six, seven and eight. Oh, this is really small here and here, 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 here. Oh, that's it actually. The rest are other languages. Ports and buttons, charger configurations, data transfer and charging. All right, this is it. The manual contents, thank you note, tablet, keyboard, accessories, and this. These are actually stickers that you can put on the keyboard with different layouts. So France, this one is Spain for Germany and another one for Italy. And the keyboard itself comes in the English layout right here. Let's check out the accessories first a cable, the charger and different power plugs. One for the EU and this one for the UK. This is the charging brick right here. So I will slide in this one. Seems like this is non-removable, so keep that in mind. And right here we have two cables. One of them is USB-A to micro USB and the other one is USB to their proprietary charger. This plug right here. Both of them are 1.5 meters long. So this was the content of this box. And finally, let's put all of that aside. Next up, let's remove this cover that is protecting the mouse pad. So this is it. It's a matte black smooth touch surface. It looks and feels amazing, but the long-term durability is an unknown factor. Some of those surfaces get really sticky. Back here you get four of these rubber pads. The quality of this thing is definitely a surprise to me. This feels rather solid. As you can see when we place it here, it will stick and here we have the tablet these are all the ports there are many this is the same surface finish this thing is looking great comes with a screen protector okay so here it is nice the port for the keyboard is right here this can swivel and it will lock in place right here well it will, it will just slide in here it is wow i'm surprised by the quality i'm actually surprised to recap, you will get the keyboard, the tablet, two cables, the charger with an optional plug and this paperwork and the stickers. The build quality of this thing seems to be top notch. It's solid and especially for the price point, I can't believe it. What I've noticed so far though is on my model, it seems that the spacebar has an issue. It's a bit misaligned. It's getting caught up here. But everything else is fine. It even comes with these little rubber spacers to keep the screen from getting dirty. And the tablet itself, yeah, I just can't believe it. Attaching and detaching the keyboard is rather simple. And yeah, the build quality is amazing. 
The company Simbans was founded way back in 2012 and since then they branched out to North America, Asia and Europe. Their focus has been to provide incredible products at affordable prices. That's at least what it says on their website. Uh, yes, so far they did. Because over the years they kept on improving the hardware while keeping the price low. This model a few years ago started out with 2 gigabytes of RAM, then they stepped it up to 3 gigabytes and this device, the latest model, already has 4 gigabytes of RAM. By the way, also they do give away a small portion of their revenue to sponsor life-saving surgeries for children, so it is amazing. So with this, they kept the model the same, the build and the looks but they kept on improving the hardware over the years. On a website listed and linked in the description, you can check out the other tablets that they offer. And the price point of this is again, just $180 or 180 euros on Amazon. Front facing camera, back facing camera, and all these ports. This thing is feature packed, comes with a proprietary DC input, frees up the USB port, micro USB for OTG stuff, for connecting a mouse or something like that. You will get a mini HDMI port. You can expand the storage with a micro SD card. Oh, you can slide it in right here. It's a bit flimsy. You will get a headphone jack. Here is a microphone, power button right here and volume rocker. The speakers are here and right here. So here we go with the specs. I cite this as a source, which is kind of inaccurate. Most of the stuff is just not it on the Amazon page. As I found out later, it is around 600 grams for the tablet and around 530 grams for the keyboard. So quite heavy. Moving on to the connectivity. This device has Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth. Moving on to the audio. Moving on to the display. 160 PPI, definitely on the low side. And the refresh rate is 51 Hertz. But but it is an IPS panel with great colors and also great viewing angles. Moving on to the main camera, best photo setting is 5 megapixels and the best video setting with the main camera is 720p at 30 fps. Best photo setting for the selfie cam 2 megapixels and best video setting 480p at 30 frames per second. Lastly for ports, slots, buttons and indicators, you can also charge other devices through your type A connector. We even have mini HDMI for multimedia purposes. Research this was not easy. There is hardly any information out there. I had to take my own measurements, do my own calculations, all of that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. And now finally, let's turn it on. Well, here we go with another setup. By the way, this is the max angle that you can open it up. So that's not very far. But anyways, let's continue. Okay, United States is fine. He was working pretty good. Checking for updates. There we go. Okay, I will skip the screen lock. There is no fingerprint or anything like that. Skip. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's better actually. All right. There it is. Microsoft Word. From this distance, the screen is fine. But when you go closer, this is one of the trade-offs. You can have it all for this price tag, but the screen is acceptable. We have the assistant, all the Google bloatware right here, Play Store, Mail, YouTube. But other than, whoa. Oh, that's the touchpad right here. That is so cool. Oh yeah, let's go. Other than that, there isn't a lot of bloatware on this device. Uh, that is the screen brightness right here. So it can go a bit brighter. Okay, so that's not bad. So this is an IPS panel. So the viewing angles are pretty good. Okay, it looks weird on the camera, but the viewing angles, they are amazing. When we close it up. Oh, it didn't lock. Really? You actually need to lock it yourself and then it's all safe. Now look at this beauty, dark theme going, black background, customization is great with this device. This actually comes with Android 10 out of the box. Check this out, amazing. And here you can see that this is the newest of their tablets with four gigabytes of memory. So far, I'm really happy with the level of customization. Everything is fine so far, amazing. Nothing unusual to the setup, hardly any bloatware. Thumbs up for that. All in all, the customization is great. And now let's get to some demos. All right, here we go, video with the main camera. Oh yeah, autofocus does work with the front-facing camera. Not too bad actually, it's not too bad. Against the 
dann nice. 4x Digital Zoom. So here we have the low light torture test with the main camera and the same torture test with the front facing camera. Here is this street again. Color accuracy test with the main camera. These are the values right here. And a video with the selfie camera right here. Daily grind, create yourself this what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day. One step in the right direction of Chris and I'm only here to show you. So check it out, we made it. We are inside the Zoom call. And this is the front facing camera, that's me, hello. Quality is actually not too bad, check this out. And this is the teacher right here. After using this for over one week, I can honestly say that this is a great device, especially for the price tag. The pixel density of the display is for sure on the low side and the speakers are not nearly loud enough. But this can easily be omitted with headphones. There is, of course, a headphone check 3.5 millimeters right here. And with a bit of distance between you and the screen, it will look okay. This device is perfectly fine for Zoom classes, whether it's indoor or on the go. The inbuilt battery will easily last you a day. And of course, it can easily handle light office tasks. Just don't expect this to crunch CPU intensive tasks, but I think this goes without saying. What surprised me the most was the solid build and it just looks and feels like quality. Now lastly, as promised, let's take a deep dive and explore what the best reviews out there will say about this device. So this concludes the review. All in all, this really is a great and affordable Android tablet or laptop combo. Sturdy build, looks great and can indeed do the trick. Check out the Amazon links in the description if you're interested. And before you go, smash that like button right now, and then subscribe, ring the bell and press all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. And that's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.